right now today we are going to learn about the concept that is internal energy so now we have learned uh, like what what did we learn let us recollect once we have written the index then i have given you the nomenclature of thermodynamics then i have taught you the conversion of factors of uh, con conversion units in thermo used in thermodynamics then i have given you the different definitions of system surrounding uh, then types of systems like your you know open system closed system isolated system then i took you to the journey of types of thermodynamic processes reversible and irreversible process before that i also taught you what is meant by an isothermal process iso uh, isobaric process isochoric process adiabatic process also Ice, isoentropic also isentropic also rather then i also taught you a concept called uh, like, uh, like from that only extensive and intensive properties right i have told you then i also gave you the idea of state functions and path functions now after reversible irreversible process now we'll learn the concept of internal energy what actually is internal energy let's see so internal energy basically in thermodynamics is denoted by capital e or it is it can be denoted as capital u fine so how to remember this internal energy let's see suppose i have a system now what is a system what do we study a particular uh, what do you say a point or a matter which we are going to study which is under study is a system now i'm going to study about this part this is all the surrounding the whole board is a surrounding now this system we very well know has a lot of molecules present in them which will be colliding continuously yes right so now we'll write the definition so i have a system which is a lot amount of molecules which are colliding continuously inside the system now what have first of all i have to write the definition let's write so according to the definition internal energy is the energy associated with the system now i said this is the system which we have let's write so internal energy internal energy is the energy what is that which is associated with the system which is related to the system which is associated to the system right? right so this energy is associated to the system by the virtue of it means on what is it depending on by virtue of its what what does it have it has constant molecules constituting it, molecules are present in that the particles in them are molecules isn't it by the virtue of its molecular constitution yes by the like we are taking the concept of molecular constitution and the particles means basically the particles present it okay virtue of its molecular constitution now that means when i'm considering this molecule in this particular system indirectly i'm speaking about the total energy present in that system what is there or what what energies are included in that system isn't it so i'm going to speak in terms of e total that means e total of the system it includes two types of energy energies what are they the internal potential energy as well as internal kinetic energy because potential energy is the inbuilt energy as well as the kinetic energy is when they collide all each other right so e total is equal to e internal energy or so e potential energy i'm sorry e potential energy plus e kinetic energy isn't it So here we have already taken this it, by virtue of its molecular constitution we have written. So this molecular constitution along with that what does it have? It also has the movement of the molecules, particles, constitution I said. And also we can write movement of molecules. Now here what I actually is this? Potential energy combination as well as kinetic energy I said. Now in this particular molecules whatever we have, what, what type of energies does this system have, this molecules have in this particular system. Let's see. Suppose if I have to take this system with these molecules, inside that particular system, every molecule which is colliding with other, it has a lot different types of energies. What are they? Let's see. So here, if I have to speak, the first type of energy which the molecule will have, it has vibrational internal energy. 
okay or vibrational energy we can write that also vibrational energy so i said this is represented by e no isn't it so e v that is the first type of energy apart from that the molecules are bonded to each other if i have to see very closely they are bonded to each other so they have bond energy which is denoted by e v e apart from this the molecules are having bond energy they also have <coughs> sorry they also have an energy called translation energy which is denoted by et apart from this they also have something called zero point energy which is denoted by e0 apart from this they also have an uh, this in uh, what do you say nuclear attraction this nucleus will attract this one this way nucleus will attract this one this nucleus will attract uh, that particular molecule so inter nuclear attraction of the energy which will attract the inter nuclear uh, forces in between so e n u c this system containing molecules also will have a type of energy called intermolecular in uh, like you know attraction between both the molecules isn't it intermolecular attraction which is happening in between so let us write inter molecular attraction attractive forces or energy that is denoted by e molecular or you can write it as vt intermolecular interactions or intermolecular interaction let us write intermolecular interactions that also is there interactions so bond energy uh, vibration energy bond energy translation energy zero point energy right intermolecular attraction internuclear attraction intermolecular attraction all these factors together are there or acting upon the system rotational energy also we forgot yes so rotational energy right so this is er now your internal energy is a combination of all these that e total is a combination of all these energies that means when i have to write e total now i have an idea system containing the molecules so e total is the combination of write down ev plus ebe plus et plus e0 plus e nucleus plus e um uh, r plus e v t okay e r plus v t so it is a combination of all these types of energies which are related to the system so this is your internal energy so basically when i have to speak about internal energy now what is it dependent upon this internal energy is dependent upon the uh, you know initial stage as well as the final stage are we speaking anything about the path in which the molecule is moving the energy in which the direction it is moving no isn't it so because internal energy depends upon upon the initial and final stages it is also called as okay let us erase this so in general as i said it is only dependent upon the initial and the final stages that's why internal energy is a state function it depends upon initial stage as well as final stage suppose if i have to write this change delta e is equal to e2 minus e1 this is the final stage and this is the initial stage isn't it right now what are what else are you observing this internal energy is dependent upon the molecular constitution only how is it moving how is it vibrating how is it translating that means indirectly internal energy is dependent upon the mass of that particular molecule whichever is dependent on the mass what property do we call extensive property intensive properties are mass independent extensive properties are mass dependent so what are the different ma mass dependent mass density volume all these are extensive properties so so internal energy as it depends upon the mass these are called as extensive properties what are they mass dependent 
isn't it yes so now let's see what actually is this delta e in a graph right so now we'll see what is delta e so basically we have learnt uh, internal energy is nothing but a state function it will depend upon the initial and the final stages so what did we write earlier de is equal to e, e final minus e initial so what is e final nothing but e2 minus e1 right so now when i take speak in terms of delta e the change in energy so what actually is this suppose um, like uh, I am taking a cyclic process in this. Okay, I am reversing from here, from initial to again it's coming back to the uh, final, from initial to final, final to initial state. Now, what happens here in this case, delta E concept when I take <coughs> delta E is right. So now I have to speak in this term. Suppose in this case E uh, initial or E1 and E2, this is initial, this is final. If E1 is greater than E2, okay, the initial energy, if it is greater than the final in, uh, energy, then what will happen? The system starts absorbing energy from the outside source. It starts absorbing energy from the surroundings. That means whenever this case, uh, if you observe, that means the system because this is greater system absorbs energy from surroundings okay when it absorbs energy from the surroundings what type of reaction is it it is endothermic reaction hence the reaction is hence the reaction is endothermic in nature okay so seeing this you will just write whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic so in this case it is endothermic in nature now suppose if i take a cyclic process like this right so in a cyclic process what is the condition if from initial it is going to the final step from final it's coming to the initial step so for such uh, cyclic processes let me erase this i need space let us write it here okay fine so for cyclic process what is important in this particular thing right so delta e what will be the, the summation of delta e all the energies together the summation is zero it's understood and even when you take a smaller steps like this infinite smaller steps the creation part of de is also zero isn't it so this is only for the cyclic process but otherwise we have studied if even is greater than e2 the process will be endothermic if it is the other way it will be exothermic in nature so this is the concept of internal energy so i when i try to solve certain questions we will further understand so I'll write the definition types what what it together makes internal energy and speak in terms of endothermic and exothermic reactions and finish off with your cyclic process So we've already seen the representation of how are we writing delta E for a cyclic process. Now we'll see because delta U or U or E it's the same way of representing internal energy. Now if, I, if you are asked to write for a chemical reaction how to write. So basically in chemical reaction a reactant A <coughs> converts into uh, product B if, if I assume that particular reaction. Now delta U in terms of chemical reaction is represented as delta U is equal to UP minus UR what is this what is up u stands for internal energy that is nothing but internal energy up stands for internal energy of products products and ur stands for internal energy of reactants okay this is the thing done now what what is important so learning the formula is fine but important concept is there are two conditions what are the two conditions in the case one if i take and case two if i take the conditions c sorry in case one if up the internal energy of the product if the internal energy of the product is less than internal energy of the reactant case one in case two if the internal energy of the product is greater than internal energy of the reactant 
right fine hope you're understanding the reactant a converting into b so the total internal energy i already told you what is internal energy it is a combination of translation rotational vibrational zero point everything together is internal energy suppose if the internal energy of the product is lesser than internal energy of the reactant then delta u will become negative when delta u is negative the reaction will become negative means exothermic in nature exothermic reaction the same in case 2 in this if the internal energy of the product is more that means what happened here it started absorbing energy that means delta u in this case is positive so such reactions are the reaction here is endothermic in nature the reaction is endothermic so this is how you're going to do basically internal energy delta u can be measured by bohm calorimeter which will be doing so as of now see remember internal energy definition internal energy common like what what is it made up of how is delta e represented how is delta u represented 